Okay, so this is the second of the two hives. This one's Beckingham Palace. Um, fairly apt today. Um, so let, all this video is going to be is just the differences between the two hives. So after we made the first hive, we came across just a couple of little um, adjustments that could be made in the second one just to improve it ever so slightly. So while we're at this part, the thickness of these panels. So on the last ones, the plywood was quite thin. So he's used a thicker ply this time, which means that there is no bowing. Because on the other one, um, it, it flexes up quite a bit. So what that does mean is, if you look along here, there's no, um, there's no dip on the other one there, there was, which meant that the table that he had built last time, which just sort of hooked over there, won't. So he's put in these, what are they called, my love? French cleats. French cleats. So that way, the table, which it looks like that, just gets placed on. You can see how well it sits. So that will just live up in the lid like the other one does, but it's just so easy to just plonk it down. And on, so that way if I'm working in the main part of the hive, because I'm right-handed, that goes there so I can have my smoker and hive tool. If I'm working in the flow hives part, he's put one at this end so that I can be here and everything is right there. So this would work really well if you're left-handed as well. You can have one on either side. Um, no changes around this side. So if you look at the hinges, they were quite rounded on the last one. And so they were rubbing in here. So what he's done is he's just trimmed them. So they're a lot pointier now. Um, so they actually, they don't rub, they open them shut a bit easier. Instead of putting big blocks in here and here for the entrances, he's just put tacks in. And we've used some stainless steel mesh. So the mesh we had was the aluminium um, insect screen mesh. And while that works fine for the outside, um, because I use oxalic acid vaporization, it does corrode aluminium mesh. Um, so stainless steel mesh is better, but it's quite hard to get hold of. So we bought some stainless steel mesh for the inside, and I'll show you that shortly. And we just decided to use it for the outside as well. And it's this one, this stuff we use the edge pieces here for the robber screens. Around here, we are going to have the frame holders in here. We're just not putting them on until such time as we get the hive out there. Um, last time when we installed them, as we picked up the box to drop the bees into the hive, um, the base fell away and it actually broke the, the peg. So we've got to do that one again. So here we are inside the hive. Nothing has changed in the flow frame area. All that's really changed in here is this mesh. So this is the stainless steel mesh. Um, it ju we just ordered, I think, six pieces because we've got a they. They're quite a pain. They can be quite a pain to cut. So we just got them, and Paul just trimmed them down slightly to fit. Um, he said stapling was the hard was the hard part, trying to get the staples in the holes. Um, you can see the drop trays or pest trays underneath and once again our little frame uh, queen excluder is there so yeah not much has changed on the inside just that mesh um, so that means when I do oxalic acid vaporization um, it's not going to corrode so all of the mesh now in this hive is this stainless steel stuff and in the other hive um, we will actually go through and replace the aluminium mesh. And that'll take a little bit of time to do it because we have to shove all the bees over one side and Paul's going to have to work quickly while wearing a bee suit. But yeah, this is Beckingham Palace.